Rosario Macao, Sr. Italian pronunciation, Rho, modifier letter vertical line, Za, modifier letter triangular colon, Jo Ma, modifier letter vertical line, T, Latin small letter Ash, Latin small letter open A, modifier letter triangular colon, O June 8, 1887, March 29, 1954, also known as Papa Rose or Rose Macao, was a Sicilian immigrant and organized crime boss in Galveston, Texas in the United States. Because of his efforts and those of his brother Sam, Galveston Island became a nationally known resort town during the early and mid-20th century, during a period known as Galveston's Wide Open Era. They own various restaurant and casino venues including the now-vanished Hollywood Dinner Club and the Balinese Room. He became an Al Capone-like figure in the city. Sometimes known as the Iron Glove, Macao was the enforcer and head of operations for the business empire he and his brother formed. Early life Rosario Macao was born in Palermo, Sicily at the end of the 19th century. He had three brothers, Salvatore, Sam, Vincent, and Frank. The Macao family emigrated to Louisiana in the United States in 1901. He trained as a barber and later moved to Galveston in 1910, shortly before World War I, to start a business eventually with his brother Sam. Rose's command of English was never great and he was reportedly illiterate. Growth of an empire as prohibition took hold, the Macao brothers began to give gifts of wine, low quality to be sure that they were able to smuggle to their customers. As their customers became more interested in the liquor they gradually became more serious bootleggers. Rose Macao had part of his business on Murdoch's Pier, a hangout for Ollie Quinn, leader of the beach gang which was one of two main gangs on the island. Rose built a relationship with Quinn and the Macao brothers gradually allied themselves with the beach gang. They opened a cold drink place, I speak easy, and invested in the gang's gambling operations. Eventually the beach gang leader Ali Quinn and the Macios opened the Hollywood Dinner Club, the Gulf Coast's most elegant nightclub at the time. Rose's ability to intimidate made him an enforcer in the organization early on. Fortuitous arrests of the leaders of the gangs allowed the Macao brothers to gain control of the island's underworld. The Macios gradually invested in numerous clubs and other entertainment ventures in the city involving gambling and bootlegging. Their other big venture, besides the Hollywood, was a club and casino called Mesos Grotto, later renamed the Balinese Room, which opened in 1929. The Macios soon controlled most of the gambling, prostitution, and other vice on the island. Rose acted as the inside man in the organization enforcing control over the organization and the island while his brother Sam was the face of the organization establishing partnerships, negotiating deals, and attracting tourism and investment. The Macios became wealthy as their businesses expanded and the island prospered. Their syndicate owned dozens of casinos and restaurants both on the island and throughout Galveston County. To compensate for the often inept and corrupt police force and judicial system on the island, Rose led a group of vigilantes known as the Night Riders to keep order on the island. Area residents considered the island and their homes entirely safe in spite of rampant criminal activity. Personal life Rose Macao married Francis Dispensa. Francis was described as being exceedingly kind but, like her husband, very strong. The Fertile family and the Macao family considered each other kin because of the marriage of Joseph Francis Fertitta to Rose's sister Olivia Macao. The Fertittas became involved in the Macao businesses due to this relationship. End of an era the heyday of the free state was over by the 1940s. Because of conflicts with the United States Treasury, the Hollywood Dinner Club was shut down in the late 1930s. The local clubs found it increasingly difficult to attract major entertainment figures. Gambling had been legalized in Nevada in 1931 and this distinct advantage over Galveston gradually lured mob figures such as New York City's Bugsy Siegel to Las Vegas. The competition created by the up-and-coming entertainment center in the desert substantially challenged the island on the Gulf.
Still even during the later years the Balinese room was able to attract the likes of Tony Bennett and Peggy Lee, among others. By the late 1940s corruption at the Texas state and county level was in decline. As investigation of the Mikao activities became more serious, Sam and Rose began plans to move their empire to Nevada. Thanks to Sam's dealings the Mikeos became major investors in the Desert Inn, which opened in 1950, the largest and most elaborate casino resort on the Las Vegas Strip at the time. Sam and Rose Mikeo transferred controlling interest of most of their Galveston empire to a new group dominated by the Fertitta family with investments coming from business interests around the island. The Fertitta group, however, never wielded the influence that the Mikeos had. Rose Mikeo died in 1954 from heart disease. His death made national obituary news. See also Free State of Galveston Sicilian American Tillman J. Fertitta Notes Further reading Galveston, Texas from the Handbook of Texas Online Burka, Paul, December 1983 Grand Dame of the Gulf Texas Monthly Cartwright, Gary, June 1993 One Last Shot Texas Monthly Cartwright, Gary, 1998 Galveston a History of the Island. TCU Press. ISBN 0-689-11991-7. McComb, David G. 1986. Galveston. A History. University of Texas Press. ISBN 0-292-72049-1. McComb, David G. 1989. Texas. A Modern History. University of Texas Press. ISBN 0 292 73048 9. Sitton, Thad, 2006. The Texas Sheriff, Lord of the County Line. University of Oklahoma Press. ISBN 9780806134710. Utley Robert Marshall, 2007. Lone Star Lawmen. Oxford. ISBN 9780195154443